So I used to be in the Army, and I actually went uh, to Iraq twice. And so before you invade a country, of course, you have to go through cultural sensitivity training. So one of the things that they taught us was, you know, if you give a thumbs up, that's actually the equivalent of, you know, giving them the middle finger. So instead, they told us, you know, just give them the OK sign, you know, because it's so much better. But I was like, OK, I know in some countries that actually means asshole. So I would feel bad showing that to little kids. I decided to just wave to them. So of course, you know, we're invading, we're driving through the streets, and I'm waving and waving, and all of a sudden it just kind of turns into that, like, homecoming queen wave. <laughs> and I'm just, like, up in the turret, you know, riding through the streets. It's like, it's like a reverse homecoming parade. You know, I have my, I have my helmet on, it's kind of, like, sashayed to the side, you know. I look really good with my vest on, my rifle's just slung across. I look pretty fierce. <laughs> so of course, you know, there's all of these, you know, women and children just, like, running next to us, and they're like, amazing! Um, so we, uh, I know I don't really look like I, I was in the army. Um, typically, you would expect someone who looks like you know Channing Tatum or Ryan Felipe or something like that. But uh, the fun fact is, um, they're actually actors. They're not really people that were in the military. <laughs> they play people like me. <laughs> so, the reason, I, the reason I joined the Army, and I joined it straight out of high school, was so that I could pay for college tuition. And because, you know, clearly, the better option to having, you know, a lot of debt is getting shot at. <laughs> so, that, that's, that's roughly how it worked out. Um, you know, it, it gave me a lot of skills. You know, I, I got free college tuition. I got leadership skills. I even gained a superpower. Um, the power to not smell. Um, when I was in Iraq the, the, the second time, for some reason, I lost my sense of smell, so now I can't smell anything. And of course, you know, I, I used it for good for a while. Sometimes we had, you know, shit-burning duty, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna volunteer for this. I think I'll take the bullet for you guys, so you guys go on convoys and patrols. I'll burn shit so you guys don't have to smell it. Um, so that worked well, a good for a few years. But then, you know, I became a civilian. I thought, hey, I'm gonna use this for evil, because that's what happens clearly when you get out of the military, is you just change sides. So I'll be in cars, I'll be in cars with my friends, right? And they'll be like, oh, you know, farting up a storm, think they're hilarious because I can't smell, but I'll just like roll up the windows and put the child locks on, and just let it rip. And they'll be in there, and it'll be like in the movie The Rock, where they're just like, you know, like BX gas, and they're just like clawing, like, Ugh. and I'll be like, yes. I also use it for, for other things, um, you know, not being able to smell has actually opened up an entirely new uh, group of women who I can go out with, the hot, smelly ladies. <laughs> uh, people who have extremely bad body odor, but, you know, they look really good, but they just can't find the right man. <laughs> but I'm that man. <laughs> you know? I've actually, actually, I've been lying to you guys a little bit. I can smell a few things, so one of the things I can smell are uh, peaches. So I use that. I use that to my advantage. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll buy, you know, peach scented body wash because that's the only way that I can tell whether I'm clean or not. So you know, I have these extremely fruity body washes. You know, peach mango, peach cucumber. You know, I'll just use all of that, and, and I'll just smell so good. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> so, um, I, can, I can also smell peanut butter, but I, I typically use that for, for those nights where I decide I want to stay in with my dog. Um, so, yeah. You guys have been a great crowd. <laughs>